Rien ne se perde, rien ne se crée, tout est transformé. Tout se transforme. That is uh, le principe de Lavoisier in, uh, in French, which um, means that nothing is being destroyed or created, but everything is being transformed. And it's an early version, an early expression of what we now call the conservation of matter and energy, and a very important step, actually, in the development of chemistry. And it's, a, it's kind of surprising that in looking at the uh, richness of change and of diversity of, of dynamics, of things moving around, that we intuit, as human beings, the existence of fixed laws, which not only are maintained underneath, but make all that diversity and richness possible. And that's the theme of our, our concert this afternoon, this evening, is transformation and how energy and sound transforms uh, through time. We'll start with the story of rocks, rocks here in Iowa, and uh, how they're transformed and hear the sounds. And uh, then we'll look at the dynamics of uh, vibrations in, in metal, in a, a symbol, the nonlinear dynamics. And then uh, we'll see the inexorable force of gravity illustrating the flow of time uh, with a water clock. So from the poetic point of view, I guess this will take us all through the, the four elements of ancient times of uh, air and earth and water and fire, and maybe even the, uh, the ether that uh, Aristotle added to that because we all have electric circuits involved. But um, we'll begin our journey this evening with the earth and with rocks and petrosonic, an exploration of the sounds hidden inside of stones. are drilled into Iowa's ground every day, as it has been for over a century. Some wells draw their water from loose sand and gravel, whereas the vast majority tap bedrock aquifers made of sandstone and limestone, which give us the hard water Iowans know all too well. However, in 1905, a water well drilled into the small northwest Iowa town of Manson encountered something entirely different. This well was 1,228 feet deep. Not unusual for a city well, but what was unusual was the naturally soft water that it produced. Geologists that studied the rock cuttings churned up by the drill bit were puzzled to say the least. There was no limestone or sandstone. 
yet every rock type imaginable within a muddy matrix. But at a depth of 1,100 feet, the well encountered what looked like volcanic rock, which should have been more than 4,000 feet down. Geologists concluded that the Manson anomaly was a cryptovolcanic structure created by a violent eruption of volcanic gases long ago. Not until the mid-1900s were scientists beginning to understand some of the most chaotic of Earth's secrets, meteorite impacts. Microscopic study of rock core samples yielded the first evidence that the Manson anomaly was in fact a meteorite impact crater when Dr. Nicholas Short of the Smithsonian Institute discovered shocked quartz in 1966. 
The existence of shock quartz is considered the smoking gun that identifies this feature as having been formed by an extraterrestrial impact because no earthly force is fierce enough to deform durable quartz crystals in this way. Then in 1991 and 92, more core drilling was done to determine whether the Manson impact structure was the one that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. However, further study revealed that the impact occurred 74 million years ago, nine million years too early. We now know that the Manson impact structure is the third largest meteorite impact crater in the United States at over 20 miles wide. Unfortunately, most of the crater has been eroded away and the remains of the crater lies buried beneath more than 100 feet of glacial sediments.
Although the Manson Impact structure is quite interesting, what most people associate with Iowa geology is our state rock, the geode. Most of Iowa's geodes come from shale deposits that formed more than 340 million years ago. These geode bearing shale deposits are near the land surface in southeastern Iowa where erosion from rivers and streams wears away the shale, leaving the geodes behind. Typically, the geodes are filled with crystals of quartz or calcite, although more than 20 other minerals have been found in Iowa geodes, making them highly prized among rock hounds around the world. Treasure chest that's been sealed for millions of years. 